Today you're going to see a video with our resident sheep shearer, Dawn. She works here at the farm shearing our sheep. In this video you're going to see hand shearing demonstration as well as a sheep shearing demonstration with uh, a mechanical shear. Hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Dawn. I am the sheep shearer here at Doyle's Farm. Today we have Star joining us and as you can see, Star is in need of a haircut. So here at the farm, we will shear the sheep at least once or twice a year. Now we're just coming out of winter, so as you can see, Star still has her winter jacket on. You see how deep her wool is? You can see she really needs a haircut. So there's a few ways that we give sheep a haircut. But before giving a sheep a haircut, the first thing we have to do is brush their wool. try and brush some of that off. So we're going to use this tool here called a curry comb. So this is one of the brushes that we would use on sheep wool. And basically what we're doing is just trying to remove some of the debris. Now you'll see Star's a little nervous. Last year was her first year getting a haircut, so this is really her second haircut. And again, coming out of winter, she's going to be happy to take off this winter jacket and get ready for spring and summer. Now another tool that we would use looks like this. This is called a wool card. Now this is something that we would use. This is going to actually fluffen up our wool and it's going to make it a little easier for us if we're going to give her a um, haircut using hand shears. So today for Star, we're going to be using our hand shears because that is one of the ways we can give sheep a haircut. So you'll see that as we're using our wool card, it is fluffing up her wool, which is going to make it a lot easier for us to hand shear. There are two ways to give sheep a haircut. You'll see here, this is what our electric shears look like. So you'll see later on, we will be shearing one of our sheep with electric shears. So if you look at these, you can see what these look like. Look like big scissors. These are called hand shears. So what we're going to do is, you'll notice, again, this is one of the ways that we would shear sheep if maybe we didn't have electric. So if we didn't have electric in the barn, you can see all of a sudden as I'm taking off some of her wool, you can see the difference between the top of her wool here, and you can see it's already getting much lighter because we're getting closer to where her skin is. Now, a few reasons why we may be shearing the sheep for the spring again is going to be this all weighs probably about 20 pounds. <laughs> all this extra weight and it's also going to make her very hot. So we want to make sure our number one priority for giving sheep a haircut is that they're going to stay nice and cool for summer. So another reason why we may shear the sheep is that we can take some of this, as you see here, her wool, and we can make things with it. So some of the things we can make, we can take our wool, we're going to make it into yarn. From yarn we can do Blankets, socks, hats. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different things that we can make from wool. Another thing that people don't realize is all of this wool here has something in it called lanolin. So if you see, although it's dirty, you can see lanolin is actually something that she produced that we as people use for our skin. So lanolin will actually moisturize our skin. The sheep use lanolin to basically waterproof all of this. So they can be outside in the middle of a snowstorm, in the middle of rain, and the lanolin is what's going to waterproof all of this wool and keep them nice and dry underneath. So lanolin is another product that we get from our sheep, as well as taking all of this wool and making things with it. So again, you'll see here, as we're continuing hand shearing, you're going to notice that again, 
she's very dark on the outside because that's what was basically exposed all through the winter. If you think of maybe your winter jacket that you've worn all winter long, the outside is dirty. When you look on the inside, it's much cleaner. So very similar with sheep's wool. You'll also notice not only is it much cleaner, but as we're shearing, if you look, you're going to see that she has something in her wool called crimp. So the crimp is basically this little zigzag pattern. Now she is a wool breed sheep, so she is going to be making much more wool than some of our other sheep on the farm. So we'll probably shear her at least two or three times a year. And again, we do benefit from taking this wool and making things with it. But really, the priority and the number one reason why we shear her is to keep her cool and comfortable for the hot summer season. And also, again, so that we can see when the veterinarian comes, the vet's able to see her body condition. We can see what she looks like underneath. Because right now, she looks really big. She still has her winter coat on. But when we completely take off all this wool, you're going to see Star's going to look much smaller. So after all the wool is gone, she's going to look much smaller, and she's also going to weigh about 20 pounds less. Now we're going to demonstrate how we shear sheep using electric clippers. Since the clippers are loud, you're not able to hear me talk over the machine, so I will describe what we see here. This is Lexi, the sheep I mentioned earlier. Just as Star experienced, Lexi needs a haircut to lose her winter coat. As you can see, the process of electric shearing is much quicker. This makes it a lot easier for me to get through shearing and also means less time these sheep have to be away from their friends. Now that I've made some progress on one side, you can see how beautifully her winter coat comes off. The wool coming off is now referred to as fleece. As we're shearing off the wool, her body shape and conditioning is revealed. This is one of the main reasons for shearing, so we can assess their health and keep them cool in the summer months. As I touch Lexi's skin, you can see the glossiness on my hand, making it look wet. That is the lanolin, as I explained before. Lexi's wool is very soft and thick, and as it comes off, we make sure none of it goes to waste. Her wool can be used to make all sorts of things, such as blankets, scarves, socks, and hats. As I finish up with the electric shears, I'll switch back to hand shearing for the areas around Lexi's face. This is much safer and more precise for sensitive areas. Now that Lexi is all finished, you can see how excited she is to reunite with her friends and show off her new haircut. Thanks for joining us with this video on sheep sharing. We hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.